Hey, this is Ashley Spillers, and you're listening to Zero Dark Nerdy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast brought to you by the Believe Podcast Network, the number one podcast network for professionals. This is your boy, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino, and today I am joined with... Mateo, a.k.a. The Last Unicorn, a.k.a. Dank Farrick. <laughs> We're definitely going to get into that. Can we say that? <laughs> Hey, it's your boy, Jadon, a.k.a. Don, a.k.a. Obi-Wan Jabroni. Nope. <laughs> nice. yeah, we have a, a new guest in the building new today. Guess. Go ahead, and, go ahead and come on up. <laughs> My name is Kip. I'm just a.k.a. Killer Disciple. If you ever see me on uh, Facebook or uh, one of the other social media platforms, the guy with the beautiful voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not the homeless guy from back in the day, but I have a home. Today's episode, we are going to be talking about the season two of The Mandalorian. Reactions, reviews, what's coming up next, all that fun stuff. Before we get into that, we are going to take just a quick little time out for one of our sponsors, betonline.ag, and we'll be right back. The NBA and college basketball are back. The NFL playoffs are right around the corner. With all these sports going on, there are plenty of bets to lock in, so if you're thinking about picking the Lakers to repeat their NBA championship, or someone to upset Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs, you need to go to betonline.ag. For game spreads and totals to team, player, and coaching props, BetOnline gives you more options to wager than any place online, and there is always the online casino as well. It never closes. So head to betonline.ag today and take advantage of all the great sign-up bonuses. Again, that's betonline.ag and sign up today. BetOnline, your online sportsbook experts. All right, and we're back. Big thank you again to our sponsors, betonline.ag. We're going to go ahead and start our review with the one and only White Knight himself, Jerry Jadon. <laughs> I, I, pre- I prefer White Wolf. <laughs> I White Wolf. <laughs> um, what can you say about this uh, season? It's exactly what we wanted, right? I mean, it continues the Grogu story. We didn't even know his name until halfway through the season. Mm-hmm. Um, How do you feel about that? The... The name? The uh, name Grogu. I mean, it doesn't start with a Y, no. But, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's cute, but it's not cutesy. You know, right. like, it's it's kind of... But he's been, like, baby Yoda for, like, Exactly, like, give him a name, for fuck's sake. Exactly. Yeah, like, we, yeah but a whole room was sitting the around there, like, a room full of people saying, Grogu! It's gonna be Grogu. <laughs> right. right. I, I tell you one thing, uh, like, if you're selling, like, m- merchandise of him, like, Baby Yoda is going to sell way more than Grogu. Right. <laughs> True. Probably. You know? Yeah. But whatever. You know, for story, you know, I, I understand that they had to give him a name. And I don't I don't hate it. Um, mm-hmm. well, he people, was just the child. Yeah, he yeah. was the child. And as far as, like, Yoda and Yaddle, like, the other two of the species, like, mm-hmm. you would think it'd be, like, Yomli or <laughs> Yomli. something with a Y. Yomli. Yeah. <laughs> Yosemite. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yodel. But I mean, y- Yamandre. <laughs> <laughs> what I did, what I really liked about uh, this season versus last season is last season they their their uh, pattern was kind of like give let's give them a mind blowing episode and then let's give them a filler episode, right? And let's give them you know a a, a filler ish and then something. But this season, there were maybe two filler episodes, I think, right, in the whole season, if that, and they were, and they got them done early mm-hmm. right right, right. Not, nothing we watched the first one and the first episode we were like eh, yeah we were both just like nah. I yeah. the first episode is that was where this is strong. going it's, it's, like, it's always filler you know, a big bad monster that you'll never see again that was the one with right. t- timmy the oliphant yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that, danny that, cordray that, my that was fine that my was problem fine. with that episode is like come on like we know tatooine we've mm-hmm. been there a billion times like we went there twice last season you know right. like, i hated last season when we went to tatooine <clears throat> I yeah, that. I mean, it was all that was all just fan service. Which I, I, I'm a nerd. I give me some fan service. Give me all the good fan service, but just don't you know treat me like an asshole. <laughs> 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 don't just keep going there. You right. know, you got to buy me breakfast first. Right, right. Filler episodes were really early. I think uh, the Tatooine episode and then the ice, like when he got stuck and the ice spiders were right. coming after him. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was kind of a filler thing. The whole thing with the frog lady. It was, you know, heartwarming and yeah. funny when uh, Grogu was taking all the eggs, but mm. it was Which kind of a filler. An uproar. 
<laughs> an internet <laughs> opera. Like, it did. People were like freaking like, out. Ah, is, the internet. Yeah. It's a living thing. You shouldn't. <laughs> 2020, man. Right. It's, like it's a hungry kid, yeah, man. This is no, not real. <laughs> no, no, eat the eggs. No. You saw what he was served, like that right. goop with the thing in it. Yeah. Like, right. <laughs> he's been eating soup this entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I show Baby Yoda, he's eating soup. Yeah. Give him something. Give him some sustenance. I appreciate you saying Baby Yoda. Mm-hmm. And oh, not Grogu. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. Hey, Ahsoka says Grogu. It's Grogu. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> But we've got we got a ton of you know fan service. We got a ton of stuff. Like we were talking about Dave Filoni earlier. He's bringing all of his characters from the cartoons mm-hmm. into the live action series and movies, and I love it. I I was a big fan of Clone Wars. Uh, Rebels is a little more kiddie, but it's got some good shit in it. It's mm-hmm. got some really good shit and good concepts. But yeah, a lot of I mean, characters. Yeah, yeah, some, some great characters. characters. Uh, Kanan Jarrus, Hera, <sighs> Hera, what? Hera. She's like one of my favorite characters come out of Dave Filoni. I'm, I'm not a Dave Filoni fan. Yeah. Per se. Like, I hated Ahsoka. I love him. For like, the first season of Clone Wars, but, like, she's grown on me. Oh, uh, she was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, and she was annoying. She was hell. a bratty kid. Yeah. She was so annoying. She's like the first, like, 30 minutes of Home Alone. Right. The first 30 minutes of Home Alone. <laughs> she's Kevin McAllister. Like, annoying. Like, oh, why are we supposed to be pulling for this person? Let's like, go, annoying. Sky Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sky Guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, he's pulling a lot of characters uh, into his into their new universe, right? And uh, I love it. I love Dave Filoni stuff. I like, uh, like you said, Hera, Hera Syndulla. Yeah, is, Hera Syndulla is great. What's really fun is she's a character from Star Wars Rebels. She's a uh, helped the rebellion, you know, begin, and she's a awesome pilot. And, and her and father, like her he, father, has been a major character in in, in the Clone Wars. In Clone Wars, yeah, yeah. They like I said, they're bringing everything. And uh, if you look closely in Rogue One, you can see her ship is there. The final battle of Scarif. Yeah, it's in the there. Ghost is there. Yep. Hmm. Nice. But yeah, like, it is they're there pulling the really, end. really good stuff. But to get back to the episode or the season, mm. I think that they took us where we wanted to go after you know the bullshit Tatooine episode. Right, um, I think they they're took pulling. Us where we didn't know we wanted to go. Right, <laughs> right. But like, what I right. what With I do the... dig, I do dig about what Dave and uh, John Favreau are doing is they're pulling from everything. Like they're fans in charge of what they're doing, mm-hmm. and they're pulling from everything. They're pulling from '90s video games. Mm-hmm. Right. They're pulling. The from, yeah, yeah. They're pulling yeah. from um, uh, all the uh, extended universe, you know, uh, material. They're pulling mm-hmm. what they want from stuff that Disney deemed non-canon. They're like, this stuff didn't really happen, but Dave Filoni and others are pulling characters and suiting their purposes for what they're doing now. They're not going through the whole big backstory of Thrawn now. We might get it later, Mm -hmm. but uh, there's a whole trilogy of novels about Grand Admiral Thrawn um, that came out in the late 90s, I think. You're talking about heir to the empire stuff. You're talking about the Timothy Zahn. Yeah, yeah, stuff? yeah. Timothy yeah. Zahn. Uh, yeah. He did the trilogy. The trilogy. It, it, it went heir to the empire, or whatever it's called. Right. They yeah. did. Uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn was a huge character in those books, but he's completely different, though. Yeah, I, I mean, that. from from the books versus the cartoons, it's right. very. He's he very different. different. He's very different. But like I said, he's put he's picking and choosing things that he wants in his universe, and we get to see. Sorry, <laughs> we get to see some of it, and I I love it. Uh, anytime I see something I recognize, I'm like, ah! right, <laughs> <laughs> makes you sound like a monkey. Yeah. Right. One of one of the things I enjoyed was uh, one of the memes over the weekend where it was like actual like rare footage of Filoni and Favreau um, like writing episodes, and it's two little kids playing, yeah, like yeah. Lo- losing their minds with Star Wars toys. And yeah. I feel like that's exactly what it is and what it has been for them. So shit, I was I would lose my mind if I had that at at. Mm-hmm. Myself, like, holy <laughs> right. shit, we're fucking loaded. If only, <laughs> if only we kept that shit as kids. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. If only. <laughs> so, Matthew, what, what's your take on this season? I thought it was amazing, um, especially like like Jerry said. It's towards the end. It got they did the stuff early. Yeah, yeah. right. They knocked yeah. that and then out. They sucked yeah. you in. Yeah, and then we were all in. Mm-hmm. Um, Boba, God, oh my God, mm-hmm. seeing Boba Fett, and he's such a badass. Hard, he's stone cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Zero chill. You, you see Boba Fett and that glass shatters like stone cold Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> <Fucking awesome. laughs> 
Well, well um, the fans loved him, yeah. and they kind of just did him wrong at the end of, of Return yeah, of the Jedi. they did. So they did. I think this is awesome. And like, now he's all like... Some well, kind of redemption here. Well, Looking. like Return of the Jedi did him wrong. Cause yes. He was a shitty character. Like He was in the background. Not act like... He looked the coolest. I, yeah, he looked the coolest. I mean, versus, <laughs> I mean, other than Darth Vader. Darth I don't Vader's understand cool. why people love <clears throat> Boba Fett so much, because he was, he was shitty. Before at, this. Before this, because mm-hmm. he was shitty at his job. Two words. Jet pack. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. He was basically like, like the Rocketeer movie. You thought it would be awesome, but it was like, oh, it's fine. Well, yeah. he had that mystique around him. You know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. not like he had a until, ton of dialogue. Until the prequels, and they took off his helmet, and they right. shot him as a kid. Right. I'm like, why would you do that? Right. Why would you do that? But even, even with child. the prequels, too, I think it was for the original four, or the, you know, four, five, and six, it was just the mystique of this guy who didn't say much. Yeah, he wasn't. They ruined shit. it. Yeah, yeah it was ruined a bounty it. hunter. Right. Like, right. He's and the one I mean, that got him. Being a bounty yeah. hunter is cool yep. as shit. Yeah. That, that's it. I he mean, was cool that, as hell. It. Introduced in the, the Christmas special. <laughs> right. No, really. That's right. a cartoon. Yeah, no, so cool. no, as a yeah. cartoon. He was right. introduced in the Christmas special. Like, yeah. You know, he, was, he was cool. Like, All right. Cool. Okay. But you know what? Boba Fett's dope. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. The there we go. Okay. Enough oh, no, shitting on Boba. They told me to put <laughs> like, respect on his name. Put respect on put his respect name. That's on. right. And finally, they put respect on his we name. Think as we done. They put respect on his name in episode, <laughs> what is it, six? Where he's on that planet where. where Grogu is on the little on the rock, rock and the, yeah, the yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah, they put respect on his name. Oh I'm like, yeah, good, good. That finally. was such a badass episode. Yeah, yeah he said he want, I want my gear back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love how he's not really a like a. I mean, he's never really a villain, but right. Nah, he's, he's not. He's an like, anti-hero. To, you don't see him yeah. up to any like mercenary. shitty yeah. shit. A, you know. Yeah, he's a mercenary. He's, he's honorable, he's like his father. Like his father. But after mm. that, like you saw, you, we saw that shit. Like he's gonna get his shit together. Uh, I love yeah. it. I love but it. in the last episode, I, I thought it was funny, like when he was sh- blasting at um, the ship before they got onto the. But he was blasting at them, like oh, uh, make it look good. Yeah, you know, know? the imperial oh, yeah. ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't so, worry, I, princess. Yeah. yeah, I got so you. So as soon as Put that was done, on. he bounced. <laughs> he was bounced out. Gone. Yeah. And, right, oh yeah. So <laughs> Quick was was Pershing with him at that time. Uh, I no, uh, she was on the ship. Right? Where was Pershing the entire they time? They didn't take him on to the light cruiser, so, right, so he, had, oh, he must doctor, still, yeah, doctor. I he might think about that. He must he still was, be on Slave One. Mm-hmm. He had to be on Slave One, okay, right? That's a good point. I didn't even think he, about that. He bounced, right? That's what, right? That, that kind of threw me off. I'm like, oh, Bo Katan, fucking flawless. I love her I'm delivery. Glad they brought her, god, yeah, she back. is awesome. I'm glad they brought whoever Bo-Katan the actress back. is. I'm sorry, I didn't do my research, but god damn. That she's is great. Katie, Katie Sackoff. Sure. Katie Sackoff. Yeah. Well, they brought her, her back for Bo Katan. She great. was in she's Star Wars. She was she's in Star Wars Clone Wars. She's and the voice she, yeah, and her. she voiced wow. her character in the cartoon. That was mm-hmm. dope is the fact that they had the troopers or dark, 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 dark troopers. troopers. Dark troopers. And they look like Cylons, which are from uh Battlestar Galacta. Battlestar Galacta, mm. which Katie Sackoff was a major character in Battlestar, Battlestar Galacta. Mm. Beats like, Bears. Yeah. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> 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 yeah. Michael! <laughs> yeah, I, I love bo I want to see more bo mm-hmm. Um, I really want to know, and does she fuck up Mandalorian, or does she just accept the saber, the dark saber? Yeah, we, uh, they got to deal with that. Can we talk about, can we talk about the plot hole? <laughs> There's a few. Right, go ahead. Um, There's a plot hole there where bo like, oh, I can't accept the saber because... Uh, I didn't win it in in battle, but she was given the saber in the first place by Sabine Wren. She did. In she Rebels. was okay. she was in given Rebels. Sabine Rebels. Wren Rebels. got the were they went to Dothamir where Darth Maul was keeping it. Mm-hmm. They uh, they were just gonna leave it like Ezra and uh, Ezra and Sabine. Yeah, they were gonna leave it, it. but then it. Sabine took it. Mm-hmm. Took it. And then when they met more Mandalorians, they were like, holy shit, you have this? Like, this could unite the clans. You know, this could, you know, help. Yeah, and gave she it gave Bo-Katan. it to Bogotan. I mean, Bo-Katan. to be fair, none of them have seen it and for forever. And yeah, he, she didn't win it from Darth Maul, but she accepted it then. I see your point that she accepted it then, like so just out of somebody's hands. Now? Yeah, Amanda was just like, here, just, I, I don't yeah, give just a take fuck. It. Just take it. it. It didn't seem like, like and that's the only thing, too. It didn't seem like. The, like the saber was just going to fly off her hand and not go to her. So, 
Yeah, I don't. It's I don't like get I that yield. Part. Maybe yeah, it's, I yield. Maybe. I want to know what they do with that. Yeah, well, maybe because really explain that. That's the next thing. Well, but, and that was part of the deal too for this final episode. And she was like, "You need to re- really, you know, seriously reconsider joining us." And I think that's where, and we'll get to that in a little bit, where season three goes right. is them all teaming up together and, and all he said more was adventures. fair enough. Right. At the, at the whole time, we all, <laughs> yeah, the whole totally time we all know his intention is fair. just He's getting like, back Grogu, yeah. a.k.a. Baby Yoda. That's his whole yeah. intention. I'll think right. about it. Because he would have totally taken that deal if uh, if Moff didn't turn his back on him and try to attack right. him. Right. He was going to be like, all right, Moff. Yeah, he's going to be like, all right, I'll get this kid and get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. Later, right. y'all. Right. We all know better, though. <laughs> right. We all know better. <laughs> John Carlo. Yeah. John been Carlo the same way since easy. Breaking John Bad. Carlo Gus, Fring, Gus Spring will get you. Yep. Gus, Gus will again. get you. Let's put some respect on his name. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has been around since, like, the first time I ever saw him was in school days. Dude, I saw him in, he was in Miami right Vice. Vice. Yep. Miami he was in an episode of Miami Vice, wow. I know for sure. But he's like an actual child actor. He's been around since he was, like, a kid. He's yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. He's but amazing. he's been around for a long time playing the bad guys. Like I didn't watch Breaking Bad, which is, like, people look at me like, "Get the hey, fuck out of here!" Yeah, I didn't watch Breaking Bad, but I understand he. Hey, has Brian, half turn his off face. his mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? really, I am that now. Really, <laughs> we still love you, but still, you get one of these. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there aren't enough hours in the day. Okay, <laughs> I need to watch all these shows, but I accept that. He tried to kill himself. That is fine. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He's out. Fuck this. I'm out. Yep. And then Sasha Banks was like, nah, son. Sasha Banks. (laughs) Sasha Banks like, nah, son. (laughs) With her fine ass. With her fine ass. It was nice to see her. It was. I thought she did good. I think, yeah, yeah, she was great. What happened to the other dude that was with him, though? The dude that was with Yeah, he bounced. Oh, right. They don't even mention him. I mean, no boobs. Where is he at? They were done with him. There you go. All right, so to tie in with uh, the dark saber, like explain that a little bit to our fans out there that may not know anything about the origins of this. I know they've probably done a little bit of quote unquote research, but you guys have obviously watched Clone Wars yeah, as, as right. well as Rebels. So between all that, you obviously do not have to be a Jedi to wield it, no, at all whatsoever. So what 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 like what is kind of your prediction of where we see the dark saber go into season three? I guess if I want to word that a little bit better. Well, the origins of the mm. dark saber, there was a long, super long time ago that we might even get into this in that, uh, high Republic thing that they're doing. Uh, there's a show coming out called the acolyte. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's supposed to right. take place like right. so far ahead of, you know, the first, uh, trilogy of movies or mm-hmm. even the, the prequels. Mm-hmm. Um, it's way into, into the past. Okay. And, uh, so it's way based, back when, is it like Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, I mean that they're gonna. That's where they're gonna pull a bunch of Knights of the Old Republic okay. shit into that, and okay. that I, I think they're you know, it's gonna be okay. a dark acolyte's gonna be dope because yeah. it's gonna I be centered. It's it's gonna be centered uh, on like a dark force user way back then. Mm. So I'm I'm so stoked about that show. But anyway, uh, way back in olden times, uh, there was a guy called uh, Tar Vizsla. And yeah. he was a Mandalorian. Mm. And he was the first Mandalorian to be trained as a Jedi. So he was both. Mm. Oh, wow. He was a Mandalorian Jedi. Right. Okay. Right. And so his lightsaber, he constructed the Darksaber. Gotcha. Okay. And so that's where it originated. And then um, uh, the you know Mandalorians, they'd be fighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so, and there was that whole thing about the Civil War. Right. That was mentioned in Mandalorian. Right. right. They can never, yeah. you know, figure out what they want to do collectively. Yeah. Like, right. um, <laughs> so, they be fighting. Because they be fighting. They can't, I mean, it's in my blood. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. Hey, weapons are part of my religion. Right. Like Spartans. <laughs> right. Much. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, it went from clan to clan. Uh, the, they had the true Mandalorians, and then you had uh, Death Watch Mandalorians. Mm-hmm. Death Watch Mandalorians wanted to take everything back to the ancient ways. Yeah, that's where you get. Uh, I think Din Djarin was rescued by the Death Watch. They said that he was a child of the Watch. Mm-hmm. Of the they watch. wanted those were the ones that kept. Well, never remove your helmet. The other, vi- like yeah, but right. then there's another plot hole too because in Clone Wars, the Death Watch they took their helmets off. Hmm. They did, but I mean, this might be more, you know. I don't know, Absolutely fanatic. Right, people. but they, yeah, but that's Absolutely like something that you can look past. Because right. This show is just so right. Boring. Right. And I and I was really concerned that you know they were hyping up all this. We can't take our helmets off, shit. And then I've seen them with their helmets off in the cartoons. And we're and not stuff. even talking like years later. Right. Like no, this is like a few years. A few years like, later. A few years. Like like. But really? then it went from you know back and forth between the Mandalorian clans, and then 
Where did Darth Maul get it? He got it from uh, Pre Vizsla. He got it from Pre Vizsla. Who was voiced by John Favreau. That is right. <laughs> he, was de- he, he was a descendant of the that very first one that, that was a correct. Jedi. He had the dark saber. He was a Death Watch Mandalorian. And then um, he got in league with Darth Maul. Darth Maul fucked him over and killed him and took it. And then Darth Maul took it and he took over Mandalore. Gotcha. Okay. And that's uh, then after he had it, he took it to Dathomir, which is his home planet. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, uh, Asajj Ventress. Mm-hmm. Yes. She, she's in the cartoon. She's yes. badass. Mm. <laughs> she is badass. Ventress. Asajj Ventress. Ventress. God, so, force yeah. choke me, baby. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The baldy look. But uh, no. <laughs> but uh, no. Uh, uh, he took it there for safekeeping. He took a bunch of shit from Mandalore and stuff there. He's from there. Nobody was really there anymore. But then a mission on Star Wars Rebels took that crew to Dathomir, and then that's when Sabine Sabine Wren got the dark saber. Yeah, she and, Ezra and then she stole gave it the saber. Yeah, from. she gave it to Bo-Katan, and then we don't know how Moff mm. Gideon got it from her, but right. we did, which right. we should probably see. Yes. Hopefully. I'm hoping we see right? that. Yeah, Hope, yeah hopefully they give us a flashback of what happened. All right, so with that with that being said, we're going to stick with the final episode here. So with um, when Boba Fett says, you know, Mandalore's made of, like, I've seen that, uh, that planet turn to glass. So right. Does it still exist or does it not exist? That's what, that's, I'm, that's what that's I'm trying what I'm to figure I'm, out. I'm, yeah, that's what I understand. Very good question. Yes. <laughs> that's what I'm, <laughs> Thank I don't you. understand that. Like, I told you, I was only going to kind of come in with the questions. It seem like no, the that's whole a great planet question. of Mandalore is, like, done like... Uh, like it's Alderaan, like it's yeah, gone. Alderaan, Alderaan, right. like Alderaan. It's gone. That's it. It's, it's gone. Yeah. So like, do you remember? It's still there. She's trying to take back a planet. Like it's not there though. Right. But okay. earlier they were like, uh, the first time he met Bogatan. Yeah. And Mando said something similar. He was like, Yeah, well, you know, Mandalore, you know, it's it's bombed out and depleted. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. And uh, and Bogatan was like, Nah, that's just that's just Empire propaganda keeping us from our home. Ah, okay. so okay. So unless not, you actually like physically I mean, see it, then you just don't. Don't know. get me wrong; it's fucked Asgard up. Asgard is not a place, <laughs> right? <laughs> Asgard is a people, <laughs> right, right, right? Right? Don't so, get me wrong. I mean, the Matt's point is that would you know could that be a thing too, to where they could take over a planet and then also make that Mandalore? To be fair, you know I mean? <laughs> the Mandalorians <laughs> fucked their own planet up. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Hence the Civil War shit. Civil Wars, yeah. nonstop. They fuck their planet up. That What they really do, you see it in the cartoons, is they live, most of the planet is bombed out and depleted, but then right. they live in like these domed cities. Okay. So that's basically all you get on Mandalore is inside. And gotcha. Bo-Katan wants to reunite yes. and be the like queen empress. Right. The right. Fuck right. right. Because her sister, Obi-Wan's love interest, oh. was, uh, was a ruler there. And that's okay. when they were pacifists. Gotcha. All right. So, so Mandalorians so, were pacifists. Is that yeah. what you just said? Yes. Yeah, when was that? <laughs> <laughs> that's just it. Uh, Pre Vizsla, he right. was a Death Watch guy. He was trying to take over me like, fuck you. Let's go back to, you know, being badass. All right. So, uh, again, this is for our, our fans that may not know much or have never watched Rebels or Clone Wars, kind of like myself. I mm-hmm. do plan on doing it, especially after this amazing two seasons of uh, The Mandalorian. So between the time frame... Year like ballpark years wise, mm-hmm. what are we talking here between obviously uh, Revenge of the Sith to now? I mean, I know it's supposed to take place after episode six, but I mean, ballpark like how many years is that apart though? Because you For figure like 10 years, maybe. Well, I mean, right. but Luke's a, like a baby. Well, that's just it. And that's he's the thing. in A New Hope. The, right. He's 19 he's, years old. Yeah, right. he's 19. 19. 19. So there's already 20. So you figure A New Hope, everything else is about a, a couple years apart. Yeah. So we're talking like 30 years then, roughly, let's just say ballpark, from so like, episode three. Okay. To where we're at now. So Because to me, that makes years. that makes more just sense. 30 years. Yeah, yeah. 30 okay. years. Okay. All right, that's all. Because it's only supposed to be like know that. seven years after Return of the Jedi? Right. Right. Okay. That's all. Oh, you're talking about the Mandalorian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's like five, six years. Right, okay. Five, six years. That's what I thought, because that's, that's actually been a lot of questions I've been getting is, well, how far is it from Return of the Jedi? I'm and I'm, sure I was like, guessing it's, like it's about like five or six years. Or six years. I'm so. thinking they're doing what they want to do, but eventually they're going to have to like made it up with the <laughs> sequel stuff <laughs> right. way far down the line. They're going to be right. like, oh, well, and I think that's what they're doing like with this cloning shit. Right. They're going away from that because like, 
Well, I think they're doing the cloning shit. It's like the beginning stages of, you know, Do they show, Palpatine coming they, back they and right. Snoke and shit. Snoke. They show Snoke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They show Snoke. They do show Snoke. So, like, they're trying to... They're going to tie in. I mean, they're not going to... As much, as much as we would all love to see them redo the last Must three with Favreau. Re, like, <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it's not going to happen. They're still going to have to stick to Must it a little bit. love to never think about it ever again. <laughs> I think that's the end game with the Grogu blood. Is right. the bringing Palpatine back and tying it in with that shit? But they yeah. talk about the M counts, right? Metachlorians. Yeah. I don't want to say it because yeah. they don't even want to mention that word. But metachlorians are the M counts. If yeah. you ever yeah. have questions about what well, they're they gotta talking get, about, they got to get fake sciency with it. So yeah. I, I get it. Like I, I don't. <laughs> I'm not a big fan science-y. of metachlorians either. But <laughs> you got to explain it somehow. I guess. Right. Science-y. But uh, go Matrix with it. I think. <laughs> yes, all this cloning shit is for is ultimately for Palpatine's benefit. However, right. I think Moff Gideon's going to try to like inject himself and try mm-hmm. to give himself force abilities. Yeah, that's what I think he, is going to happen with him. Yeah, because I mean, Thrawn is being you know, set up to be you know the next big bad, and he's on like Emperor level, and then Moff Gideon's going to be on like Darth Vader level. I feel like Moff Gideon's done. Really? I think he's done. I think he's done. Like he's. Esposito's just too busy these days. They gotta get him out of there. How many <laughs> shows does this guy have? <laughs> right? He's got so many shows. Dude, they so want him to be Doctor Doom, man. He, yeah. yeah, he was on yeah, an episode of Creep Show. The he's new got Creep so Show. So many shows. Yeah. I think he's done. He's, he's done. All right. So what? What's your take on it, Kip? Yeah. Primarily, if you want to, you know, as far as the Clone Wars Rebels connection to this, and then where you think it's going to go next, because really, I mean, that'll be the next segment of it. Is I think where they're going to do? Goes they're going to they're going to bring in characters from from Rebels. I think Ezra Bridger's coming in at mm-hmm. some point, season two, maybe season three. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to bring in Hera. Uh, they need to. They I should. need to see Hera, man. I want she's to see so Hera. cool. She's like, the she's character. the backbone of what would become the rebellion. She's one like, of the she, best characters to she come put, out of. She helped Davos. put that rebellion together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she helped them win battles, too. Yeah. No, I she's need to see dope. Hera. Yeah, she's great. I want to see Hera. I'm, yeah, like, I think they're going to bring in Rebels uh, characters. I want to see Hera Syndulla. I want to see uh, her green headed kid. I do want to see Ezra coming. I don't like him as a character, but I feel like to, he was searching for for Thrawn. Thrawn yeah. at the end of the of, of the last season of of Rebels, he was searching for Thrawn. Yeah, he actually took Thrawn into the unknown regions where right. there's no maps, and he couldn't really get back in time to right. have any effect with on the, with the, the space, uh, with the space whale original trilogy. The, with the space yeah ones. there's see there's a lot of shit that's why i'm not a feloni fan but like everybody loves feloni everybody's gonna hate me for saying that but um i'm not a feloni fan i think space wheels are stupid space what so space expl- explain this. oh my god here we go yeah so <laughs> real, without, without, getting, like. without getting too deep <laughs> right, into it like, all right the they're... short short version yeah, so at the yeah, end to give us a cliff right, notes all right at the end of star wars rebels it was their first big battle like they, it was the first time that the you know the Rebel Alliance took on the Empire like in a big way. Mm-hmm. They went to take over, uh, take back um, this kid Ezra Bridger's home planet. He's a main character in Rebels, but uh, towards the end of it, he his backup plan was he, first off Ezra Bridger is a Jedi Padawan. He was of the Kane Padawan from yeah Kanan Jarrus's uh, Padawan, and Kanan Jarrus survived dope. Order sixty six. And he's dope. There's a lot of jet- force sensitive people that are not a lot, but some survived. And so Apparently a bunch of people survived yeah. or 66 as of like, but the, the says. right, the short, short version. So, um, <laughs> Ezra in order to get Thrawn the fuck away from the planet so that the rebels could take it. He summoned with the force, these things called Pergil and they're giant space whales. Okay. That can uh, warp speed naturally. Okay. So basically what you're saying, stupid. It's stupid. Okay. No, I mean, it's All right. Stupid. So it's, and it's so it's he one summoned thing. a bunch it's of them thing. to win the battle sure. and then grab the ship that sure. Thrawn and Ezra were in and took them out into the unknown regions where it's not mapped and you, right. it would take them forever to get back. Mm-hmm. And that's why you don't see Thrawn in A New Hope, Empire, gotcha. or Return of the Jedi. Okay. So, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like a jump to shark. You like know? I, I said, mean, he was, he was reaching. There's, there's lots of good shit in those right. cartoons, and there's and some I, dumb I, shit I, in Jar there, too. Most, no. yeah, most, yeah, I was going to say, most, most, most of Rebels is trash. Yes. I'm going to say it 
here. Most most people jump the shark. Most of out. Rebels is trash. Yeah. <laughs> most of it is trash. It's trash. Do you want to get back on where we think the Mandalorians go? Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's, Let's, get, away yeah. yes. Let's, Let's get away from the space whales. Yes. Let's get away from that. Yeah, get away from the trash stuff. I want to see more Bill Burr. Bill Burr. I think Bill Burr was awesome. Hey, Space Boston. <laughs> Bill Burr, Space second, Boston himself. The second, time, the second time he was on there was better than the first yes. time. Oh, first way time better. Like, Ten first time, times better. The first time I'm like, yep, someone around Tatooine. I hate it. It's just fan service. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's just, it goes over the line. We've been there, what, three times now? But I mean, Tatooine yeah. is like fucking Earth, though. Four you know times. I mean? Because of the, the, the post credit scene, we've been there four right. times now. right. So, I mean, I get it's it, though. It's, it, it's just one of those. <laughs> I understand. It's, yeah, that's to, not a hate. Want to hate, 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 hate. It's just like, oh, they God, want I to hate when they keep going to back the, to Earth. Like, that is the Earth of the Star right. Wars They universe. want right. to connect to that. Right. That, that, There's so that, much that, sad. Some, I get it. It, it gets everywhere. Like, there is, there is a why. lot of hate, but I, I would expect more hate for, like, a Jar Jar Binks, though. Like, just because they go back to Tatooine, like, to me, that's not hate. It's like, oh, my God, they're going back to their fucking home planet. Do you really think with all these projects we're not going to see Jar Jar? <sighs> no, we're not gonna see Jar Jar ever, know, he's ever again. He's done. I bet. Yeah. You, I bet again. you right he's now. <laughs> he's done. I bet you right now we'll done. see his stupid ass again. No, he's done. He's done. <laughs> All right, so I'll he's just done. kick off real quick. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see. Han. We're gonna see Hondo. We're gonna see Hondo. Yes, yes. Give me Hondo. Hondo I hate it, sucks. man. Hondo sucks. I, I liked Hondo I in Clone Wars. I hated Hondo. him in Rebels. I hated him in everything. He's a pirate. What, what do you like? Hate, 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 hate. Hate, hate. Is there anything about this universe that you like? <laughs> Matthew, yeah. what, what else? You... <laughs> Luke, I like Luke. All right, Luke. I like Luke. Luke. Right. Matthew, Luke. what what Give else do you want to see in season? I don't three. care about the deep fake Luke. I don't care. I looked at it. I was like, oh, me. I want to see more Gina Carano. It looks right. a little weird, but I don't know. I liked it. I, like oh, it. I gotta give it go. I was always a Gina Carano fan, and you know, Gina Carano killed She, you know, she's been, she's had the, she's been getting a lot of pushback, a lot of flack because of the social media. She's she's one of those like. My face. You don't right. tell me what to yeah. do with my right. face. But whatever the fuck. Yeah. Who cares? She has a job. She does the job. Yeah. I've always been a fan of her ever since Bellator. Yeah. Um, it's just, I like her. Yeah. Don't replace she's her. Great. She's fine. I think she's great. Yeah. Or great. Gina Carano. Great. And I think she's going to be in a new uh, thing with the, uh, what's the new series? There's uh, the Rangers. Yeah, the Rangers of the New like, Republic. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think she's going to be part of that. Which I, As I she love should to see be that. the Texas Rangers of the New Republic. The Texas Rangers, because <laughs> she's got lever. featuring Chuck Norris. She's got the pull she's the got lever. the star, you know, like she's a, yeah. she's a she's fucking a fucking space marshal. So yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do a lot. God, so shout out to Gina Carano. Carano. I don't yeah. think Gina Carano. I don't think we need twenty Okatana. Star Wars movie, like shows though. Like yeah, well, some of them are shows. one and done. Some of them are. And like I mean, ongoing. it was Investor's There's Day so too. Many. You know, they're all in on Disney Plus because obviously the theme parks have taken a gigantic hit this year. Right. So at the same right. time, with the huge success of Mandalorian, why wouldn't you announce all this shit? Not all this shit's going to come to fruition, and even if they do, they're not all going to be hits. No, that, but at the same oh, time, though, if that they, visions if cartoon. They still, nah. Yeah, they still keep going. <laughs> no in, thanks. In, in in the right direction, though. Yeah, because they announced <laughs> the what, droid 100 shit. Properties. No, thanks. Yeah, and 100, 100 properties, and 20 of which are going to be on, or I'm sorry, 80% of which are going to be on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this is the next five, six years. Yeah. Right. Shit, right? yeah. I mean, 90 million subscribers in the first season. The The big plan is to get up to 230 by, I believe it's 2024. So, yeah, if you want to get up to that many subscribers and you know what's hitting on all cylinders, yeah. then that's what you're going to say is, Here's everything coming out. Right. You know, is it all going to be awesome? I mean, every studio has some misses. Lucasfilm is going to have some misses. Marvel's going to have some misses with some of their TV programming. Especially we'll this year. Happens. Especially right. this year. I they know. want, I mean, come on. They want to give you something to look forward to. Wanda, yeah. WandaVision looks like it looks better than I expected it to. It, be. Yeah, yeah. Every, every trailer of that, it looks, it gets, it looks yeah. better and better every, yeah. every trailer they let out. So, so like, even, hopefully that Star Wars shit will trickle down. We'll get some yeah. first looks at some good shit. So Mandalorian season three mm-hmm. is supposed to happen at the same time or be released at the same time, rather. I don't as book two. I don't know which is going to come out first. Book or book or book Fett, both rather. of them. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Both of them are coming out December next year. Okay. Yeah. yeah people were thinking that uh, the Boba Fett show was going to be season three. Right. But no, it it's, can't be. They're, they're completely There's so much things. more. <laughs> the fact that they finally put respect on Luke Skywalker's name. I love that. Even though we saw it through like video 
and he's doing his thing. It was very reminiscent of Rogue One when uh, Vader came through. And, like, and then we saw Leia, open. too. Yeah. At well, the end of that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but he came through, and we finally saw him do what we've been waiting for him, for him to do for, like, 30 years. That's right. That's what I was waiting for. No, yeah. it was great. See him yeah. do something. I'm like, all right. So we see how he's progressed, even mm-hmm. though it's only a couple of years after, like, right. you know. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Jedi. We finally see him, like, see what he does with the Force. And, like, when he had the lightsaber behind his back and was like, and then, like, the last, <laughs> right. the last like, I'm going to call him a Cylon because he's a Cylon. <laughs> but the last oh, the Cylon, last one? The last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, he crushed force, him. He yeah. force crushed mm-hmm. him. I'm like, wow. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, and I loved every bit of that, and I don't even care that the deep fake looked a little weird. Yeah, it was it like, eh, people yeah. were complaining about that. I didn't really care about that. I'm what like, do you expect? Fine. What do you expect? Well, I, I thought I thought he looked great. I mean, I thought he looked great as well. Technology. I think right. they brought I thought he looked back. great as well. Yeah. Like, I thought he looked great. I'm like, why is everybody yeah. like having a shit fit about now, it? Now, real quick, real qu- like, quick question: yeah. When he saw the X win, who thought it was Luke? I everybody, was, yeah, I knew yeah. It was everybody. Yeah. I was like, immediately so, like, "Oh, it's this Luke." It. And this they showed it. the one glove. He had yeah, glove yeah. on him. Like, it's, it's that's Luke. when you knew it's it was Luke. him. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, the X wing. It could have been one of those Ranger guys. Sure. Yeah. Right. Sure. But you knew it. Come on. Yeah. You knew that. You knew a Jedi disservice. was coming. That yeah. would have been a complete well, disservice to all the Green the fans. Sabers. Yeah. At the time, we didn't know anybody and they was made coming. They thought Saber. Like there were so many telltale signs that it was Luke. I yeah. was like, yes. Yeah, he reached no, out to I, somebody. I that, was, wanted. that was very reminiscent. Wanted. And one of my favorite parts of Rogue One is literally at the end because you, you see these two guys battle it out in episode five, you know, episode six. But that's about it. You don't really see them, like, fuck a lot Go of people it. up. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. And we see right. that with Darth Vader at the end of Rogue One. Right. We finally now see it with Luke at the end of this episode, like... You know, he's obviously because like kicking ass, doing Rogue his thing. One, right. Rogue One was the first time we've seen, like, really, like, besides him, like, Skype choking somebody. <laughs> <laughs> besides right. him, Vader Skype choking somebody. Right. Like, oh, he's pretty powerful, I guess. Right. You know, but, like, this is the first time we see him really put in work. Right. Mm-hmm. And in this time, we're like, all right, now it's Luke. Yeah, Luke so versus the that. dark troopers on right. top of that. Not so, exactly a walk in the park. Right. <laughs> well, you see the progression of Luke from farm boy to Jedi, <laughs> like, nobody. To he's, right. he's still mm-hmm. dressing all black. Even, like yeah. Like he did even, in Return of the Jedi. Even in Return of the Jedi, he's not, a, like, a badass yet. He just right. happens to know more than he did in Empire, you know? Yeah. But this is, like, he's been, you know, hitting the books and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> hitting the gym, you know? He's, know why he knows more he's, of Return of the Jedi. He's giving it the old college try. Right. He only trained with Yoda for like a week. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> but uh, And people are so angry about Rey. I'm like, really? Like, oh, she has no training. I'm like, mm, did Luke have much more training than Rey? Yeah. No, this ain't about Rey. We're talking about Mandalorian right, 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 right We're talking about that. We're going <laughs> to... But that I love rug. I love that they brought Luke in. I knew of a, a Jedi was coming. I just it could have been Kyle Kestis from the video game. It could have been, been Ezra Bridger been from Rebels, but I'm so glad it was Luke Skywalker. It could have for only a, been him. For a brief second, I thought it was gonna be Sebastian Stan. No, that's that's a, a rumor. No. Real no. brief. That would have that would have made me angry because like when he takes off his hood, if you see Sebastian Stan's face, mm-hmm. are you really gonna feel the same way you you felt when you saw Mark Hamill's face? After even, I saw that green weird, lightsaber in that glove, weird. I even knew though, exactly yeah. who that motherfucker yeah. was. Right. You were already right. sold, right? And we, I can, you got to realize too, we don't have this technology. You see Sebastian Stan, seeing. you see Bucky Barnes, right. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's Bucky Barnes. He's here to save the day. I'm like, I'm like, all right. No, cool. I see your no, point. It's I want to see Mark Hamill. I'm glad it's. I'm glad it was Mark Hamill's face. It had to have been. However, if it was Sebastian Stan, I would have put it together. Yeah, I. The what, average fan's not going to put that together, Donnie. They're not going to put that together. I'm sorry. They're what not. I like, though, well, you know, my assessment of the CG face, it was better than Jeff Bridges in um, Tron, uh, Tron, Tron Legacy. Legacy. <laughs> but it was worse. They come a long way since then. But, I mean, come on. It was worse than Michael Douglas in fucking Ant Man. Like, Michael yeah, Douglas in Ant Man really, looked fucking Michelle great. Pfeiffer. Yeah. 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 But he didn't. But I think Luke didn't yeah, look that, that, very well. That, that's that Marvel that's Studios. All, I think it's yeah. different because that's like, all ILM, baby. What, you, what yeah. you're talking about, you're talking about like de aging versus like deep fake. That's that different. Is, this dude's alive. He was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Deep he was there. Beard and all. Yeah. Deep yeah. fake is different than like you know de aging because like I myself have put my face on Hulk's face 
But I it, I it is de aging. I don't know if you should. We're talking about <laughs> apps right now. It's de aging though. <laughs> we can't do that. We can't do that for a Disney. It wasn't plunge. Even, they didn't de age him. Gary, <laughs> Gary <laughs> Fisher would fake him. They deep faked him. Oh, well, Gary, oh, I guess you oh, no. They deep faked him. Oh, no. <laughs> it just didn't look as oh, good as they pulled. No, it did not. But that's that Marvel Studios. They pulled a Captain America. Like the first Captain America, they all his own face all that shit. Weird. It should all be the same. I admit, when I saw, I, I knew it was Luke because right. I saw the gold they and the green. Right. I, they you know, all that shit leading up to it. But then they showed his face, and I'm like, that's supposed to be Luke. Yeah. Like I, I didn't really. What? Right, it wasn't the best special effects job, but neither was fucking um, um, Henry Cavill in, in Justice League when they had a CGI that his shit mustache. Was off. <laughs> that shit was. You know horrible. what I mean? So I'm not gonna. I'm glad it was him. I will agree. But if you if we do a whole season, because they're all, you know they're all talking about Mark or not Mark Hamill that Luke's gonna be back, whether you know here and there, season three and four, they are gonna have to bring in a Sebastian Stan who I don't think he's gonna be. Like him. Don't I don't think he's gonna Sebastian be back that Stan. much. Well, yeah, but I'm just. That's saying, why though. they used Mark Hamill instead of Sebastian right, Stan. So they're that, not going to need the him. Case, they're not, I agree. They're not bringing if him If they back. needed him, they brought, they'd bring in Sebastian Stan. Uh, they're not bringing him back. No, I think for fan service, you have to bring him back at least for that scene. And then if you decide to have him in more episodes, then, yeah, you bring in Sebastian Stan and save yourself. Because that shit's not cheap. I don't feel like, like People Sebastian don't understand like the Hamill. Irishman. What's cheaper, Sebastian no. Stan's no, but the or the Irish... de-aging on somebody? <laughs> no, that's the thing. <laughs> right. The aging on someone is way more expensive than someone else's fee. Mm. I mean, the Irishman, that's why the budget was so much to make... Pacino and all those the guys look Irishman younger. The fucking Irishman look better than this shit. Yeah, but Netflix paid $160 million. <laughs> These episodes, if you have Disney Plus cranking out $160 million we're episodes, Netflix. we're in the wrong line of fucking work. <laughs> we're talking okay. about Netflix That's versus how much a movie cost. Netflix versus That's versus how much a movie costs. Disney, like, they have more money than God right now. Yeah. So they can do whatever, but... Disney can, but within reason. You're talking about a TV show compared to a movie. I mean, even True. Game of Thrones, like, Max. the normal like the normal <laughs> budget was $10 million. So, yes, of course the de- aging is going to look better. We're still talking about a right. TV show over here. We talk about practice, all right? Yeah, but they brought practice, they right. brought Luke Skywalker in. Right. They brought Luke Skywalker I back didn't for care. Oh, and I did not amazing, care though. at all. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I saw him pull the hood back. I was like, "All right, I'm I'm all about it." Yeah. I didn't care. He looked a little funny. His chin was weird. I don't care. But I didn't care his at all. His butt chin. His butt. Chin. <laughs> did you cry? Did, did you cry when Grogu was Oh man! So Grogu left I didn't, with him? I, I, no. I wasn't like bawling. I didn't but care it was, at all. Because uh, here's the thing: a lot of people don't remember too. Like this is also Grogu's the first person to touch the Mandalorian's face, and right. God True. knows how long. Right. And right. that's what he wanted to do: is just be like, "I want to see you before I leave and get the okay." That to me, I was like, "Holy shit!" It's and like then, a, like a and then, then you see that the R two D two come up, and I was—they like, have a whole conversation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they need. Yeah, yeah, they needed something to break the. It was right. Cause cause they, like yeah, because Luke's yeah. standing there like. Uh, I mean, I know I'm supposed to take I'm him, I'm going to go now. <laughs> <laughs> right. They, they don't even take know care Luke's of this name. kid, but I got to bounce. They don't even know Luke's name at this point. No, right. you know Jedi? He's like, yeah, yes, right. I am. Well, you heard him. <laughs> She's yes, like, what I do you, am. she's like, Manda, what do you know about Jedi? He's like, nothing. Right. <laughs> Not a damn right? thing. <laughs> like, come on, man. Not a damn thing. I don't know anything. <laughs> I do. Re- that, that Return of the Jedi was full of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew about it. I do, one more thing, I do think that R2 recognized Grogu, and Grogu recognized R2, because he grew up, they grew up, he grew up in the Jedi Temple, R2 was in the fucking Jedi Temple all the time. So who saved back Grogu? Then. Who saved gotcha. Grogu? Oh, I think it was the librarian chick. Yeah, uh, Jocasta Nu. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, Nu. the Jedi librarian. That would make sense. From uh, Clone Wars, or Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones, and, and she, they were, she was cut out. The from, cartoon. Yeah, in the cartoon. Or maybe Anakin was like, come on, man. I can't kill this cute thing. <laughs> that, well, how like, many kids like, did he kill? Yeah, no shit. Right? <laughs> all of them. All of them. Yeah, all let's of all them. remember what Anakin all did. Okay. Them. <laughs> that's the thing. I think it makes it so easy for people to forget, too, because of Clone Wars and Rebels. Because they're like, oh, yeah, he's doing all this shit. It's like, yeah, oh, just he's a hero. <laughs> just you wait. Yeah. <laughs> This motherfucker yeah. kills everybody. Yeah. This dude's got some hang-ups. <laughs> <laughs> he killed one that looked like Ahsoka. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he hates sand. Gross. That's going to do it for the Mandalorian episode out there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Don't forget to check out our sponsors, the Believe Podcast Network. B-L-E-A-V Podcast Network, the number one podcasting podcast network. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to start that over again. <laughs> Believe Podcast Network, the number one podcasting network for professionals. Of course, betonline.ag for all your sports 
gambling needs. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy. <Barney. laughs> Only because I feel like that's legal to say. And speaking of being legal, those are needs. That's why. Yes, they, they are needs. I don't know how legal they are. So speaking of which, that's why we have Andrew Newman, attorney at law, yeah. taking care of all your civil, criminal, and traffic court needs. Again, the website is attorneynewman.com, taking care of all your needs all across North Carolina. And of course, the beautiful people that are taking care of our uh, website, that is Zibster, Z-I-B-S-T-E-R. And of course, the website is popculturepodcast.com. On behalf of Kip, Jaynon, Matthew, and myself, Behern, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we hope you have a great 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. Of course, as you know, there were spoilers ahead. We gave you a week and a half to watch this shit. And if it hasn't ruined it for you already, as far as being on Facebook, Someone's going to mess it up for you before we ever do. Like Flathers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Flathers was like that night. So big shout out to Flathers for trying to ruin it the night of. So old Stumble Silskin's Flathers. So I'm an insomniac. I watched that shit at 3 a.m. Yes, he did. Every time. He, yeah, shot, know, he shot me a text at 4 a.m. He's like, dude, watch the credits. I know. I know. I, I should have. I should have known better. But and of course, be sure to check out our trivia nights. Jadon will be there Tuesdays. Tuesdays at Odin Brewing. At Odin Brewing. Uh, while the uh, restrictions are in place, we're doing it six thirty to eight thirty, and then after that, we'll go back to our normal seven to nine. Stumble Stiltskins, we're going strong seven to nine on Wednesday nights, and then uh, Friday nights back at Stumbles again for uh, another round seven to nine. There you go. Be sure to check out Jerry for our local trivia nights. God bless you. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media formats, and we will see you next time. Peace. Peace. This is the way. Yeah. Victory. And anger management? Fuck anger management.